after a spectacular liftoff at 6.42 p.m. Eastern Time atop an Atlas V rocket, the Centaur second stage engine. NOAA's Gozar satellite is poised for its flight into space uh, just minutes away. We're a little bit under four minutes from the Centaur third main engine start. We'll be listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski from United Launch Alliance, who will be providing engineering data and information on the uh, burn. Centaur has been in a coast phase for nearly three hours after the successful second Centaur main engine burn. Everything continues to go well. This is Atlas Launch Control. And burn burn is for 93 seconds. Tank pressurization is underway in the lock tank. about a minute and a half away from the Centaur third main engine start. Centaur fuel tank is being pressurized. One minute away from the burn. We have LO2 pre-start. We have LH2 pre-start. Standing by now for the Centaur third main engine start. This will be a short burn of only about one and a half minutes. Ten seconds. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Centaur PU is being commanded at fixed angles and has now gone to active control. The burn is underway and everything is going well. Chamber pressure, ox pump discharge, and and two repressions all look good for the nominal MR set. Mass error is basically zero. Engine burns progressing well. All levels look good.
standing by for Centaur main engine Carl cutoff. Continue to burn well. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We've gone to forest settling. Miko, main engine cutoff. Everything went well on the burn. Spacecraft separation is planned for. Centaur fuel tank has been vented down. Pressures are now stable. Million bottles are stable as well. Batteries look good. Spacecraft separation planned for about 10:14 p.m. We have begun the turn to spacecraft separation attitude. We will not see live video of the separation. However, we are expecting to receive a video playback about 12 minutes afterward, around 10.26 p.m. Center's going to 50% settling on the forest motors. Centaur moving to the deploy attitude. Centaur fuel tank is being vented down again. Pressure is now stable. Center has completed the turn to spacecraft separation attitude. Just about a minute away from spacecraft separation. Standing by for no spacecraft space set. set. And we have indication of spacecraft separation. And applause here in the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center, Mission Director Center as we see spacecraft separation. Spacecraft separation at 10.14 and 4 seconds p.m. Eastern Time as the spacecraft soared high above the Java Sea west of Indonesia. NASA's GOES-R flies free for the first time in an elliptical orbit whose apogee is close to its final geosynchronous altitude. Next major milestone the Gozar Solar Array deploy scheduled five minutes and 50 seconds after spacecraft separation. So at about 10.20 p.m. Seems to continue to look very good. The five panels will be extended out looking at the sun in step one of the deploy. The second deploy step lifting the yoke and two solar instruments off the body of the satellite is scheduled about 10 days from now. The launch team here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station celebrating the Atlas Centaur rocket did its job once again, delivering a spacecraft to the perfect location in space as the Atlas V has uh, had a 100% success rate. Actual position versus pre-flight predictions is in excellent agreement with very small deltas. With that, this concludes the plus count broadcast of the GOES-R AB-69 mission.
Marty Malinowski from United Launch Alliance signing off after a successful Atlas mission delivering the NOAA GOES-R satellite to space.